Yeah, I got a poem for ya. Roses are red, violets are blue. Make battle is best. Why are you not playing? I want to know, Jenny. I might not be a smart man, but I love the game and I need it. I miss it. I want it. It's amazing. Holy shit. We're in a Valkyrie with fireballs of death. They're shooting the shit out of any nearby pilot who happens to be in my way. Like Sean. Hello, wonderful subscribers to the channel of all channels. Yeah. Just would like to uh, reiterate a few fun facts for you. Fact number one. Mac Battle is amazing. Fact number two, you are amazing. Fact number three, water is wet and the sky is blue. We love Mac Battle, why not you? Mac Battle, Mac Battle, what the hell? It's like McRibs, you know what I'm saying? Nobody ever eat at McDonald's, I'm telling you now, people, don't do it. McDonald's is nasty. Oh shit, we're in that little zipper fur. With the lasers. It's not like a car with hydraulics. Lean into the left, lean into the right. Three wheel motion will set you just right. What, what? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, people. Anyways, I'm excited. I am excited, people. Capture the flag is coming soon. I hope we all squat up. Hope we get ready for it. It's gonna be amazing. It is. Also wanna say thank you to everybody who viewed my Mech Battle vs. War Robots comparison. I think I was pretty on point with a lot of things. Kinda did some research yesterday. You realize that it is over $500 million dollars almost, yeah, pretty close to 500 million silver to take one weapon to MK2. That just blows my mind. Blows my mind. Well, that's not say 500 million because that's not accurate. I apologize, people. It's 200 million per level 12, so it's 400 million to MK2 it. Anyway, who gives a shit, Looney? What the fudge? You're still talking an astronomical amount of silver. It's ridiculous. There are a few things about this game. Let's get back to the real topic here, people. Podcasting. I want to be a podcaster for Mech Battle, and I believe, and I know for a fact, that I have friends that want to do this with me as well. So I think we're going to start it off. I do. We're going to have fun facts, fun interviews, uh, game topics, live topics, more game topics. And it's pretty crazy. You know, honestly, the biggest thing I see right now through all the Facebook chats, I haven't really gone into the Discord yet portion, but I will, people. Don't, don't, don't you worry. I will. Um, long battle times. Take free for all, for example. What are our matches? 14 minutes, I think, is around. I could be wrong. 15 minutes, I'm sorry. 15 minutes for one round. And in free-for-all, if you're just playing against the AIs, hands down, if you don't win that round, there's a little something wrong with you. Holy shit. AIs are tough, and I've come close, but I still won. Haven't lost one yet in a free-for-all against the AIs. But if you're playing against two or more pilots that are on the opposing team, well, free-for-all, there really is no opposing team. Everybody's kind of against each other, Looney. That's the whole point of free-for-all. You're right, I'm sorry. I, I misstated a lot of running and hiding and ducking and dipping and diving. They're doing the five D's of battle. Dip, duck, 
what is it? Dip, duck, dod, no, dip, dick, duh, dick. <laughs> That's the last D. Holy cow. Dip, dive, dip, dive, duck, and dodge. Right? Yeah. That's what it is. And they hide. Look here, people. Here's the bottom line. You're in your last bot. End the game. Walk out, face the opponent toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and get as much damage as you can. You really think, honestly, that if you corner shoot enough, that you're eventually going to take that person out. I don't think so. I don't. Because you're not going to get enough damage in at the time, especially when their health meter is a little bit above yours. And you're just hanging on to that speck of health like you're hanging on a ledge with one hand and your fingers slowly start letting go one at a time. You're going to eventually fall, so just get it over with. Oh, it's frustrating. It's just frustrating. What else do I see on Facebook groups a whole lot? Oh, the love for the game. Because it's amazing. You know, there's a few things that I would change. I would take the timer down to maybe 12 minutes. You know, most matches don't even last eight, you know, which is cool. But there could be those ones that do go the distance. I don't, I'm a noob, man. I, I really am. I'll admit it full fledged. I'm a veteran gamer. Um, when it comes to this particular platform, I've been playing for a month, and it's amazing. You know what it's amazing is it makes me feel the way I did when I first started gaming. Not any particular game, but just, you know, that feeling you get, like that excitement, the overjoy, the over, your heart starts beating a little faster, you just kind of get really excited and into it. Ah, that's what I like. This game brought that back. And it still brings it back every time I play. I never, oh, here comes this guy, or oh, here comes that clan, or oh, there's this, or oh, there's that. I don't have that. I can't say that won't happen in the future because, you know, obviously none of us are magicians or genies or prophecies or anything else to really say what's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I would like to hope that doesn't happen. But you never know. We'll just have to see what happens in the next coming up years. These guys are uh, seem to be all about the pilots right now. Hell, they put on tournaments for us. I, I think that's amazing. I can't wait to get into the next one. I really can't. I think that's going to be dope. You know, the, the style of play in this game is comparable to the other mech fighting games. They all have similarities. They all have things in common. Yeah, there's tweaks and differences here, but, you know, in a nutshell, they are all similar in the fighting style and gameplay that they are. They do. You run, you shoot, you jump, you hide. I mean, that's pretty much it. You capture beacons or you destroy the whole enemy. You know? It would be kind of cool if they brought in, like, uh, um, what was that one game we used to play where you had to sneak in to the enemy's area, grab the bomb, and then take it or take a suitcase or whatever it was and take it back to your fort. It wasn't capture the flag, people. That's not it. It's similar, but it's not it. It would detonate. It was an explosive. I don't remember. I don't know. This game is just cool. It is. I like the upgrade times. They're short. Lithium is easy to come by. Don't ever forget to grab your little lithium. Or not lithium. Your What are those called? Those little power packs that after you kill a bot you collect. Those are great. Those are for your trades. I love trading. I do. That's cool. And one thing I really honestly want to know, if you guys even listen this far into it, which I hope you do. You know, shit, sometimes there's just nothing else better to do, so you just 
fucking pop in the old loonster and listen to what his bullshit has to say. Is this truly a cross-platform gaming? Because if it is, I think it's ahead of its time. I don't think Robo Craig is like that. I know War Robots isn't like that. Um, Battle of Titans, I don't believe, is like that. So this would be the first mech battle cross-platform game if that's what it is. I haven't really been able to verify or prove that yet, but I would love to be able to do that. But I really want to know what you guys think about the podcast. You know, we're trying to come up with names. Um, trying to get this thing off the ground, people. Have you guys on as guests. Um, and just talk how we feel about playing the game. What we like to change. What we like about it. Kind of the ins and outs. And really for the pilot that maybe has been playing for a while. But like with anything... There's still room to learn and benefit from different different topics and talks about the game and everything else. Well, I have to say, people, it's been fun ranting and raving and just jibber-jabbering your ear off here. Um, hit me up. Leave comments. Leave likes. Share it with your friends. Share it with your buddies. Like it. Love it. Hit it. Subscribe it. Thumbs up it, people. You know the deal. And I do appreciate every one of you stopping by. Listening to the old loonster. And it's ranting and raving.